And now we talked about goals. We broke them down. We gave you all these different characteristics of goals, different ways to set goals and visualize them and all this other stuff. Now I want you to tell you this. Your goals. Your goals. Yesterday. Tomorrow. Goals. Forget about them. Stop looking behind you. Stop looking out ahead of you. Start looking at what's right in front of you right now. Most importantly, start looking what's in of you right now. That's what's most important. That is the goal. What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Eckert Show podcast. Today, we're going to take a deep dive, a whole new perspective on reaching your personal and professional goals. We're going to start with some practical stuff, some tactical stuff, and then, of course, we're going to freakify the whole goal-setting process. And again, you're going to start thinking after this episode, I guarantee if you if you stick around for the entire thing, you are going to have a whole different way of looking at goals and setting goals on this episode, after this episode. This Steve Agger show is a show on how to flip the switch and have a no excuses, badass mindset, guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the obstacles that are preventing your success in your mindset, your family, your fitness, and your business so you could stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms, all while you create your own personal, ideal, freak, freedom lifestyle. And we are going to dive deep into this. And, and this is really, if, when it comes down to this is really a part, part three of this, of this kind of series, the last two episodes on freedom and then your freak freedom lifestyle. It's set. It's the, that was setting the table, the perfect table setting for this, this goal setting section. Cause we're going to go so deep into your goal goals and your goal setting. Again, we're going to start in all these different areas. We're going to start from the practical side. So let's, let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into starting practical. And then we're going to freakify the shit and we're going to flip goal setting on its head by the end. And I guarantee after this fucking episode, you will never look at your goals the same way. You will never approach your goals. You'll never set your goals and you'll be achieving much bigger and better and more meaningful and fulfilling goals after this freaking episode. This one episode, this is going to be a game changer in your life. I guarantee it. It's going to change the way you approach things. So let's start off with the practical. First of all, think about just real simple. Let's start bare bones. Let's start basic. Where do you want to go? Where are you now? And how are you going to get from where you are now to where you want to go? Basically, how are you going to get from here to there? And we're going to break down different types of goals, all different scenarios of goals. Really, there's different kinds of goals. You, you have habit goals and outcome goals. Habit goals, let's say you want to lose, you, you want to get in shape. So your habit goal might be, all right, I'm going to work out five times a week and I'm going to lift weights three times a week and do cardio twice a week. That would be, a, that would be your habit goals, a, a habit that you're going to have. The outcome goal might be, all right, I want to lose 50 pounds. Now you combine those two together, that's a force multiplier. And that's just one type of goal. That was just an example. But goals usually fall into a few different categories. I told you we're going to start off very practical. We're going to start off the way that you would expect a goal setting podcast to go. That's how we're going to start. But then we're going to flip the whole switch on that and, and freakify that stuff and give you a whole different way of thinking about these goals. So again, goals are going to fall into several different categories, but really these categories are here. You're going to have goals of things you want to create. And we're talking, these are, are phys physical things you want to physically create, like a product, a service, uh, maybe a business or something, but something you actually want to create. Then you have acquire goals, things you want to acquire, like maybe a house, a car, material things. And there's nothing wrong with having acquire goals. And, and again, these are, these are not in any specific order, but you have shit you want to acquire. You want to get that. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have those material, superficial things. Of course, that's not going to be the, the, the priority, but there's nothing wrong with wanting to acquire shit. And from there, so you have your create goals, your acquire goals, then you have experience goals, shit you want to experience, whether it's vacations, experiences you want in your relationships with your family, your friends, your kids, traveling, fun shit you want to do, like what memorable experiences do you want to create in your freaking life? And if you see, this is why this ties in. This ties in perfectly to the last two episodes, which were on freedom and freak freedom lifestyle. This perfectly sets it up. 
And from there, those goals, the next type of goal you might have is your learning goals. A learn. You might want to learn uh, jujitsu. You want to learn boxing. You want to learn a new sport. You want to learn whatever. Ping pong. Maybe you want to learn a new language. You want to learn how to do freaking salsa dancing or whatever the hell. Don't think you're going to find me fucking salsa dancing. It ain't going to happen. But maybe that's whatever your goals are. You want to uh, some. You want to learn to be a speed reader or some new type of knowledge or skill or something like that. And that'd be a learning goal. Then you also have your just overall your self growth, your self improvement, your personal development goals. And that would fall into those fitness category, but, but also mental fitness and meditation type stuff, your personal development goals, stress related goals, maybe based on the, on the levels of stress that you have, where do you want that to be? Now, with each of those different groups of goals, so again, we said you have a create goal, you have an acquire goal, you have an experience goal, you have a learning goal, and then your personal development goals. Now, each one of those things should have different subsets. Each one of those things you should know, all right, here's the goal. I'm very specific about it, but why the fuck do I even want this goal? Like, wh- what does achieving this goal even look like? And we're going to break down visualization and all that stuff a little bit later on this podcast, but just right off the bat, like, what does achieving this goal look like? And and more importantly than that, why is is this goal important? And kind of writing that out in an actual v- written form, like writing down what what does achieving this goal look like, and why is that shit important to me? Why is this goal even important? Why do I even want this goal? What is this goal? What is the purpose? What is the higher meaning? What is the impact this goal is going to have? So that's the first thing you need to do for each of those different types of goals, and then from there. You need to have this, the steps to achieve it with real deadlines. All right, so if, if this is the goal I need to have, here's step one, step two, step three, step four, whatever it is, and here's what I'm going to achieve step one by. Here's what I'm going to achieve step two by, and knowing when you're going to achieve these different goals and having steps to achieve them. Then for each of these goals, you need to have support. What support are you going to need? Whether it's team members, family support uh, from a coach or whatever it is, what type of support are you going to have for these goals. And then from there, you, you're going to set up, all right, what are the habits or, or, or behavioral triggers I'm going to have? The simple behaviors and habits are going to support this goal. That's different than the steps. That's different than support. That's different than the success statement. But what are you going to have? What, what simple behaviors are you going to have that are going to be in alignment with these goals? What new behaviors, new way of thinking maybe that you need to have? And Again, I told you we're going to start very practical. This is the type of stuff you might be thinking, but this is probably stuff you didn't think of, but this is what you were probably thinking when you hear, all right, we're going to talk about goal setting on the Steve Eckert Show, but you know we're going to take shit to a different level here in just a little bit, but I want to still stay on the practical side thing, let that stuff sink in. Those five different kind of areas of goals, different segments, types of goals, and then the different things you need to do for each of those type of goals. Very practical, very simple to do, not so easy to achieve, but simple to plan out and map follow the game plan, and I guarantee you're going to have a, a, a 10 times better chance of fucking success if you follow that shit. So now I want to break down like kind of what, what is the freak philosophy that I have for goal setting. And I think, I think one of the main goals in life overall, so now we're talking about just the philosophy of goals and goal setting, and then we're going to stick, get a little more practical, but I want you to th- kind of going back and forth between the the practical, and then the freakified thought process. You can let those two merge together and be a force multiplier, make you an unstoppable goal-striving motherfucker. So the, the freak philosophy that I think, I think one of the main goals in life is to get better every fucking day. Get better every day with constant and never-ending improvement. Literally a step forward towards self-mastery every single freaking day. And that means you're better today than when you were yesterday, but you're not good enough for tomorrow. That's the way I look at when I'm talking about getting better every day and moving towards self-mastery. And then I think the next step of that, all right, so how do I get better every day? How do you, people talk about making this impact on the world. I want to make an impact. I want to help so many people. Do you know the best way? I think the number one way to help actually help people make an impact on this motherfucking planet is having kids. I think having kids and then properly leading them and teaching them and teaching them how to operate, teaching them how to think for themselves, teaching them to basically replace you on this planet as a better version of you. Like talk about a force multiplier. Talk about making a bigger impact. Like my kids will do much more 
on this freaking planet than I ever did. That's a real motherfucking goal right there. And then when it comes down to that, all right, so getting better every day, kind of reproducing yourself to better versions of yourself and then leading those better versions of yourself by having with, with your kids, then from there, taking that and creating those experiences, all those different five types of goals, plug that in to that whole family thing that I'm talking about and self-mastery thing, combine all that together and create a life that people think you're fucking lying about. Create the fucking life where your kids go to school on a Monday morning if they still go to school, which where they shouldn't, but that's a whole nother fucking episode. We'll get into that another time. If you're not homeschooling your kids, although I think you should be, but if you're not homeschooling your kids, uh, when, they, when they go to school on a Monday and they're talking about everything they did with, in, in class on the weekend and they're talking about the shit they did and the teacher might be, it should be like the teacher thinks they're lying and all the kids just tell them they're lying, that, that, that they didn't really do that shit on the weekend. We have tons of examples of that when, when our kids would go back to school on a Monday when they used to go to school about the different 24-hour challenges we've done together or the, the ridiculous hikes that we did to the, the, all these different peaks around Southern California that they did or, or a 120-something mile bike ride and then back in school on a Monday morning and then everyone's just like, oh yeah, sure you did. Or you went and shot some automatic machine guns or a, a 50 caliber sniper rifle and they're like, yeah, sure you did, kid. You didn't shoot an AK, a automatic AK-47 in Las Vegas. You're a freaking liar. Create a, a, a life people think you're freaking lying about. And then on top of that, create a life you don't need a vacation from. And you, this stuff might sound familiar because we did talk about this briefly in the, the previous episodes on the freedom and the freak freedom lifestyle. So I told you, this is basically part three. If you didn't listen to those two, I'd probably say to listen to those first two before you even listen to this. Only you can listen to this as a standalone episode. I'd probably say to go back and listen to those also. But create a, a, a life people think that you're lying about. And create a life that you don't need a fucking vacation from. Imagine that. Man, you start thinking like that. And then once you cr- create these type of goals we're talking about, we're going to go deeper into even how to create them and this and that. I, I remember back when I first started personal training. I was working as a, in a gym on an hourly late. I was making $18 an hour if I had a personal training session. And if I didn't, I was only making $7.50 an hour just kind of roaming the floor and helping people out and helping members out and trying to get new clients. And then I went on my own. And, and my goal was at one point, I was like, all right, all I need to do is make fifty to $60,000. It was like the magic number. Over $50,000 a year, I thought meant I had made it. My goal was to make over $50,000 a year. Really, sixty thousand. I felt like that would have been like a mi- at that point would have been like a millionaire. I'm going to make sixty thousand dollars a year, and that's going to be it. This is my goal as a personal trainer, and I wrote that down, and I'd write it down every day, and I'd visualize it. I'd visualize what life would look like if that happened. And guess what? That should happen in a, in a couple of months of laser beam focus. And then I realized, all right, that's a joke of a goal. I need to think bigger. Then I went to a hundred thousand dollars a year. Then I went to two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Then I went to five hundred thousand. Then I went to a million. Then after a million, I said, all right, the revenue I learned from, from Bedros Kulin, he says the, the revenue feeds the ego, but the profits feed the family. So yeah, we're making them over a million dollars a year because all those goals I visualized, I wrote down, I followed all these processes we're going to talk about here today and achieved them all in a short amount of time. But then I realized, all right, a million dollars, making a million dollars revenue, I could, probably, I could make less than a million dollars with a much higher profit margin and be actually making more money and be more successful and have more freedom and more time probably. So that became the new goal. Then the new goal shifted towards a lifestyle, lifestyle goals and freedom goals, that freak freedom lifestyle we talked about in the last episode. And then it stretched out to even more freedom about making my own schedule, working from home, homeschooling the kids and living this ultimate ideal freak freedom lifestyle. Those are all goals. Down to the type of house that I was going to live in. I I visualized it and I wrote about it all the time that I I was going to live in California. I was going to have this million dollar home in a a nice safe neighborhood, all fenced in with a a massive yard for dogs and kids to run around and play and do whatever we want in our own space, in our own yard. No neighbors too close by with a pool, with a jacuzzi, working from home and, and living that ultimate, that was a goal. I wrote that down that, that, about that house. I mean, I saw it. I could smell it. I saw exactly what it looked like for at least 18 months to two years. Every single fucking morning and night, I'd write it down. I'd meditate on it. I'd visualize about it until it fucking happened. And I'm now recording this 
inside the home office of that exact house that I visualized. Now it's been, I don't know, it was about five, six, seven years ago at this point because we've now been here for, for four years. Well, actually only in this house for one year, but in California now for four years. So that's how I want you to start thinking about that freak philosophy of thinking about goals and achieving these goals and what's actually possible. And let's go back, let's go dive back into kind of the practical side of things. All right, you also need, before any of those type of project goals we're talking about, and we talked about the experience goals and the acquiring goals and those things that you want, you need to first start with a goal about who the fuck you are and what you stand for, what you're all about, who you really are, what are you really capable of, what's your true potential. That's the first goal that you need to set. That's the first thing you need to do is those goals about your character goals, your being goals about what you're going to become. Like what does that best you, that best version of you look like? And that, that full potential, if you're living to your full potential, what does that even look like? Clarity on who the fuck you want to be, who you need to be, who your family and your people around you deserve to have you be come. That's what we're talking about on becoming goals or being goals or just your character goals, your character. A, a, a person that you respect and, and fucking proud of. That's what we're talking about. Someone that's content with who they are. And contentment gets thrown around in the, the online, social media world, personal development world. And, oh, you should never be content. You should never be satisfied. And I believe to that an extent, because I just said in the beginning, in our freak philosophy, is constant and never-ending improvement. You should always be trying to get better. You should always be trying to improve. But you still should be content in how you operate, in your character, and who the fuck you are. So what, some of those goals need to be about yourself. Finding out who the fuck you really are, what the fuck you're really capable of, who, who, who am I? Who am I? What type of person do I want to be known as? What's a stamp I want to leave on this fucking world? Who do I want to become? What's the ideal of myself that I want to become that I'd be freaking proud of? Like, that's what we're talking about when we're talking about gold. Like, this is the, ba- this is the re- real practical bare bones level of goal setting. So I told you, I'm going to start giving you a different perspective on goal setting, not just make a certain amount of money. I started with that because I know that's what you're expecting, but now we're going to give you a little bit of what you need. I gave you some of what you want, but now we're going to give you a little bit of what you need. Like what is the ideal, not just lifestyle, but before even the ideal lifestyle, you need the ideal fucking you. Otherwise, you're going to have a shitty version of you inside of a good lifestyle or a certain amount of money you want to make, but a shitty version of you, you probably will never get to that certain money without first being that ideal person that you're looking to be. Like, how do you want to show up in the fucking world? And then ask yourself, ask yourself this serious fucking question. Do you like the fucking person you currently are right now? Do you like who you are right now? Do you even like that person? And you need to make these kind of thoughts fucking intentional every day. Like clear focus and intention on how you want to be, who you want to be, how you want to show up in this fucking world. This is what we're talking about. How do you want to show up in the world? How do you want to be seen and viewed in the freaking world? This is how you develop that future self of yourself you want to become. This is an ultimate goal right here. One of the ultimate goals. And this is before we even freakify. We're still calling this just practical. It's a little more foundational practical than the ones we started with. But this is still the practical side. We didn't even get to the freakified shit yet. We're going to get to that. So stay tuned for that because we're going to take this to a whole nother level. You think this is a different level. We're going to take this shit to a whole different level. So besides those personal becoming goals, who the hell you want to be, who you want to become, you need to have those growth goals, like growth goals of of never-ending improvement, of personal development, like you said earlier. Like, do you have goals to improve in all the major, your major areas of life, in your family, your fitness, your finance, your faith, your mindset, just your overall health? your relationships, the things, the, the hobbies you have, the things you have passions about, your finances, your family, your, your relationship with your kids, your spouse, goals emotionally about who, who, how you respond, how you react to different situations. This is all about your character. This is all about who the fuck you are. This is the bare bones foundation of goals you need to be setting before you even start thinking about any fucking money or house or cars or bullshit like that. Or else, or else you'll just be a douchebag with a big ass fucking house. That's useless. Then you have to think about on, on the growth goals. All right, that freak freedom lifestyle we talked about in the last episode. How much are you actually like enjoying your life? We talk about work-life balance all the time, but how much are you actually enjoying it? How much work-life fulfillment do you actually have? How much work-life, work-life satisfaction? How much work-life fucking happiness are you actually having? 
And then all these different areas we're talking about, rate yourself. Rate yourself on a, a scale of, of 1 to 10 on your the goals you have and how hard you're going after your goals when it comes to all these different categories of the family, the fitness, finances, faith, and family, specifically on the spouses, the kids, your emotional well-being goals, your health and fitness goals, your money goals, all that. Also, the goals on who you want to become, that perfect version of yourself, that goals in your freak freedom lifestyle. Are you writing that shit down? Are they written down? Are they clear? Are you visualizing them? Are you meditating on them? Are you revisiting those every fucking day? And that's why this is the practical because we're about to flip this shit upside down in just a little bit. But first, let's now take this to the next level on this future version of yourself. That future version of yourself. That ideal future. Talked about it last week. That Again, I'm going to keep referring to that because this is really part three of that freak freedom lifestyle. But First, you need to just identify what, what is that goal or dream? What does that look like? If, if, and depending on the time frame you're talking about, maybe six months from now or a year from now or three years from now, whatever time frame you're talking about, you should have incremental goals for all that. But really, what's the ideal, that ideal future, that ideal freak freedom lifestyle you're looking for? Like, Where do you want to be in, I say three years, because if you don't have a plan to get to your ideal lifestyle in three to five years, that's too fucking long. Yeah, you're going to take it to the next level in five to 10 years, in 20 years. But you need to have a plan like, let's fucking take some action and cut that shit in half. Cut that 10 year in half to five. What's the best possible outcome you can see on that goal or that dream or that vision that you want to have within three to five years? What does that look like? What's the the, the the furthest you could possibly push your, your, your thoughts, your imagination on where you could take that? That's what we're talking about. And then go to that end point in the fucking future and where that goal has already been achieved. You've already achieved that freaking goal. And imagine what it looks like and, and describe. I want you to dig deep and describe about it. Just first visualize in your head and then put that shit on fucking paper and describe what does that look like once you've reached that goal and dream. And then, and then every day, re-tap into that. Rewrite that shit down. Re-visualize that. Imagine you're in that future ideal lifestyle that you want and, in, and envision it in, in specific fucking detail. Like I knew the lifestyle I wanted to live working from home, like access right outside this door, access right to the backyard, to the pool and jacuzzi, right from my home office, exactly how I pictured and envisioned. A huge driveway that I can run in and work in a huge front lawn to run around and play sports and, and do shit with the dogs. This is like I literally pictured it. The high ground, we're up on the high ground so we can set up sniper posts if we need to when, when the invasion fucking comes. Like I, I pictured it, envisioned it for years, every fucking day and until it happened. And it didn't just happen from visually. So get that manifestation. Yeah, you can manifest shit, but the thing that people miss about that manifestation of your goals is after you visualize it, after you plan it, after you manifest it, you need to take some other fucking action. You need to take some motherfucking action, like a, a ridiculous, a violence of action is what we're talking about. Then, So back to visualizing this ideal day. I want you to visualize your, your typical day in this future. What does a day look like? What is, the, what is your day-to-day process? What are you working on? Who are you around? How are you talking? How are you thinking? What kind of work are you doing? How much money are you making? What's, a, what's your schedule look like in a day? What does your schedule look like in a week? What kind of vacations are you doing? What kind of work are you doing? What are you enjoying? What are you doing with your free time? What are you doing in your off time? How productive are you? What kind of shit are you working on on a daily basis? I want you to get deep and dark and freaking personal. Be specific. Like what kind of setting are you in? What are you doing? What kind of chair are you sitting in? Who are you meeting with? This is the kind of deep shit we're talking about. What are you talking about? What kind of conversations are you having? What kind of words are you using? What kind of discussions are you having? What topics are you talking about? What new things are you an expert in? This is a new level, a deeper level of of practical goal setting. And again, we still haven't flipped it. We're going to flip it in a second. But what does it mean to you to reach this goal? Why is this shit important? What difference is it going to make if you reach this goal or don't reach this goal? What's your life going to look like if you don't reach this goal? What's your life going to look like if you just stay where the fuck you are in 10 years from now? What's that life going to look like if you do nothing about those goals and dreams you have? And on the flip side, what is life going to look like if you do do something about it, if you do achieve it? And that's what we're talking about. Paint me that motherfucking picture. And sometimes you got to visit that dark, dark, gritty, grimy, dirty picture of if you don't do it, what is the horrible life going to look like? And that's going to motivate you to really come up with a, a better version of it. Like paint me that fucking picture of that ideal 
future, that freak freedom lifestyle, if you achieved all these goals you're talking about, what the fuck does that look like? And then what, what you're going to do is work backwards from that shit. Work backwards. Set that goal. Reverse engineer it up to this fucking day. And then you start chipping away at it. And we're going to break down the processes and the steps on that also. And listen, before we switch into kind of freakifying this goal section and making you think about these goals a little bit differently as we're in this practical type of thing, your goals are allowed to change. You know, when I was a kid and when I was a kid, what I wanted to be when I was older, I wanted to be either a cop, a cowboy, or a stuntman, a stuntman in the movies that don't get paid shit and like just bash up their bodies because it just looked like fun, just doing wild and crazy shit. That shit boys want to do. A cop because I wanted to chase the bad guys. I wanted to, sh- I wanted to really shoot guns. A cowboy because, again, they were a little wilder, a little wild west. They don't have so many rules. They still have their guns. They're just running, running wild, doing what they want to do, but they're still pretty much the good guy, still the hero. And then the stuntman because there's just no fucking rules. He's just going crazy. He's just paid to be a nut job. And that's probably why my favorite, favorite Marvel character, my favorite superhero when I was a kid was the Incredible Hulk. His only superpower is he got really fucking pissed off. That's it. He got pissed off. He was a superpower. He got fucking pissed off. And goals are allowed to change. I don't, I, as I got older, I, I took a police test and actually failed every police test that you can have. I failed, the, not the written one. I failed the psychological test a couple of times. I'm pretty sure it, was a, that, that I was, it wasn't meant for me to happen, but also I'm pretty sure it was sabotaged because my background check from the local police departments didn't really put in too good of a word. Then I failed a physical fitness test. Yes, I failed a physical fitness test for the police department because you had to do sit-ups a certain way. And they just kept telling me they didn't count. They didn't count. They didn't count. This is coming right out of the Marine Corps doing sit-ups. They said, nope, didn't count. So I didn't get enough sit-ups in the right time. So I failed a police physical fitness test. Then I failed the psychological test. Then I failed the background check. Then I had to do a reset. Then I repassed all those because I went and did them all again and passed. And then I had to go do a the background check failed that so they make me do another psychological test and then they said you failed the psychological test too many times you can no longer be a cop and that was something i thought i wanted to be since i was a fucking kid and that was like a three-year process at the time I said you know what the goals are going to change and that was why i was already being a personal trainer at the gym and i was already, already thinking about starting up my own gym i said fuck it we're going all in on this fitness thing i'm going to open i'm going to be an in-home personal trainer work for myself not work for a gym anymore and that was the goal a certain amount of money in-home personal trainer. And then from there, it changed. So I want to open up a gym now. And then from there, if you would have told me 10 years ago, 15 years ago, while I, while I had my gyms in New York, that I one day would no longer have gyms that I'm running, I'll tell you you're fucking crazy. That would never happen. But those goals changed too because I wanted to work from home. I wanted a different type of lifestyle. It kept elevating. Every goal was just a stepping stone to the next goal. Everything, every finishing of one goal was just the starting point of the next goal. That's always the way it was. So these goals are allowed to change. I want to make that clear before we go into kind of freakifying this shit. So goals are allowed to change. And now let's freakify this shit. So I want you to now, now we talked about goals. We broke them down. We gave you all these different characteristics of goals, different ways to set goals and visualize them and all this other stuff. Now I want you to tell you this. Fuck your goals. Fuck those goals. Fuck yesterday. Fuck tomorrow. Fuck your goals. Fuck them. Forget about them. Stop looking behind you. Stop looking out ahead of you. Start looking at what's right in fucking front of you right now. Most importantly, start looking what's in fucking side of you right now. That's what's most important. That is the goal. And this kind of hinted to this when I gave you a little bit of taste of the the freakified version of the goals and the becoming goals and who you want to become, what your true potential is and all this other stuff. Start looking what's fucking inside of you already. Start looking what's right in fucking front of you already. You waste time chasing the fucking carrot. You let the, the, the past affect you too much. You let the future cause you too much fucking anxiety. And you let these goals even cause you too much anxiety. You ex- obsess over your goals. And yes, you still should do the things I'm saying. And you still should obsess over the goals, but only to the point of where you obsess over them, then you get back to fucking work. Because in the process of obsessing over those goals and only obsessing over those goals, you fucking miss what is right there in fucking front of you. The past, the future, your goals, all that shit is right there in front of you right motherfucking now. Right now, open your fucking eyes 
and see what's right in front of you. Because if you keep searching for what's next or what's new or what other people have, or you keep searching for what you think you need, and in the process, you're never going to fucking get it because you're always searching and you will overlook and neglect what's right fucking in front of you, right in front of your damn face right now. That journey, this journey that you're on right now is the fucking goal. Your presence in this freaking moment is the goal. Today is the goal. Today is your future. This is, there's no future or future goals without going all in on right motherfucking now. That future doesn't exist without right fucking now. This moment, right fucking now is the goal. This minute, right fucking now is your legacy. The journey is the goal. You think the, the big shiny object at the, at the end of the fucking rainbow, at the end of this goal, you think that's the goal. But that's just a bribe byproduct of the actual goal, which is the journey, which is right now, which is this moment. Immerse, immerse yourself into, into the day, the task. Immerse yourself into the fucking moment, the fucking right now. That's what you need to be doing. That's what you need to be thinking. The future and the goal will never fucking happen without intention and attention on whatever is right in fucking front of you right motherfucking now. We always want what we don't have. And then we never appreciate what we do have. And then when we, get, we do get what we thought we wanted, we no longer want it because the chase is over. Or we no longer feel that fire. Or, or, or that thing that we thought we wanted so much, once we get it, we realize it's not that fucking exciting. And we might even regret it, or depending on what the goal was, we even feel nasty or dirty about it, or don't even want it. Don't even want it anymore after you fucking achieve it, once the chase is over, once that hunt is over. So the answer is this moment. The answer is this journey. The answer is what you already have. The answer is having some fucking gratitude for this fucking day, this moment. The answer is diving fucking deeper into right now. Everyone babbles about gratitude all the time and on, on the internet, but most people are just full of shit and don't actually fucking practice it. It's time to take your gratitude to the next level. Gratitude is one of the goals. Inject that energy, that force, and that power of gratitude back into the fucking universe. Go a little deeper on that shit. Stop looking for the quick buck or the quick fix. Stepping over dollars to pick up fucking pennies. Snatching dollars at the expense of your morals and at, at the expense of, of burning bridges. Do, th do the hard shit. Bust your fucking ass with maximum effort and a positive attitude. Show the fuck up. Stand the fuck up. Stay fucking hungry. Be humble, but practice patience. Stop looking for the quick fix, the fucking magic pill or the easy motherfucking button. Embrace delayed gratification and, and demonstrate appreciation for your opportunities and the possibilities that you fucking have been given or have and the potential that you have. That is the fucking goal. That is the journey. That is the freaking way. The way is the goal. Today is the motherfucking way. You are the motherfucking way. So fuck your goals. Yeah, after giving you all these different strategies and tactics, these practical strategies and tactics that, yes, you still should be doing, I'm saying fuck your goals. Because you claim you want it, and then a month later, you forget what the fucking goals were anyway. You don't even remember the goals you set. It's bullshit. Because there's not something higher attached to it. There's no higher meaning attached to it. Now, yes, you do need to do all those practical things I talked about at the beginning. Yes, you need to check in with those goals every day and remind yourself of the end of the byproduct that you're looking for. Yes, you need to fucking remind yourself of that shit. But then after that, fuck that goal. Get to motherfucking work. That goal is today. Right fucking now. This moment. This task. This project you're on. This minute. This conversation. This phone call. This podcast. Whatever the fuck you're doing. This minute. This action. This fucking thought. The journey is the motherfucking goal. And even once you reach the goal, that's not the fucking end. You think that's the end? Once you reach a goal, you think that's the end? Each goal you achieve is just the starting point to your next goal. So stay motherfucking focused. Stay hungry and bring the fucking fire into everything you're doing. Stop living in the past on previous accomplishments and, and adversities. Stop living in the future on your ambitions and anxiety. Fuck all that. The goal is right motherfucking now. With, with, with the now, right now, 
Without right now, that past is useless. Without the right now, that fucking future doesn't even exist. So that's why you need to violently, violently, I'm going to say it again, violently attack and execute on the right fucking now. Elevate the fucking now. Because that's a missing piece. That's a missing motherfucking piece. You keep searching for it. That's the missing fucking piece. The search for the missing piece is what's missing. You're always searching for this, this piece. That, that missing piece is right fucking now. This moment spent, you're searching for whatever you have. You're thinking about what's next. What do I need to be doing? That missing piece is the present moment right now. This fucking gift of the moment that you have right now is the missing piece that you're constantly fucking searching for and wasting your time and your energy and emotions on that you're fucking searching for. You're missing it because you're always fucking looking for it. It's right there, so you're never seeing it. Now, if that doesn't make sense in your head, it makes fucking sense in my head. You can't find something that you're looking for that doesn't exist. And it doesn't exist because you're always searching for it. It's always right there, so it's never going to exist. You're always going to be looking for it. You're always going to be missing it. You're blinded by the missing piece because you're, it's ca- you, you looking for it is causing you to miss the piece that's missing, which is right now. You're wasting right now thinking about the future, thinking about the past, and you're missing the fucking missing piece, which is right fucking now. You will never find it because it's there. It was there and now it's fucking gone and you can't find what's gone forever. And you just fucking lost it. You just fucking wasted. You just wasted your whole fucking time. You wasted your energy, which means you wasted your fucking life. Because time is energy and energy is fucking life. You waste your time, you waste your energy, means you're wasting your fucking life. And you will forever be fucking searching. And if you're searching for what's gone, you missed it. So you're always going to be missing it. You're always going to be searching for it. And you'll never reach those fucking goals you want. The house and the shiny fuck cars and all this other stuff. What's missing and what you missed is this fucking moment. So slow the fuck down. Freeze it. Time travel. Capture that shit. Use it. Weaponize this fucking minute. And you'll never have to search for what's missing ever again because you'll always, you will always fucking have it. You always have had it. You just don't fucking know because you're too dumb to stop and look and realize. So stop fucking wasting it by searching for it. That's how we're freakifying shit. That's how we're freakifying that shit. So how do we take that practical? How do we take that, that freaked goal-setting mentality and make it tactical? Now we go back to actual good, the ways that you would think about goal-setting. Let me ask you this. Do you set daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly goals? Do you set that shit? Do you have a framework to help you create your goals? Is your current way of setting goals even working for you? Are you even achieving them? Are you even tracking them? Do you remember what they are? How do you tap in with them? Just set some goals and, and set it and forget it and never, never do anything about it again. Are your, and, and you've heard the goals, the SMART goals, right? The, the, the SMART goals, they're specific, they're measurable, they're attainable, they're relevant, they're time-based. That's all right. That's decent and that's great. But to me, it needs to go to a whole different level. Again, you need to have those process goals, meaning those outcome goals or those habit goals that we talked about way back in the beginning here. You need to have performance goals, process goals, outcome goals. Like what is your process of doing things? What is your, the habit goal you're going to have? Then a performance goal based on a a personal standard or whatever. Then outcome goals just based on fucking winning, actually achieving this thing. So I want you to think of goals a little differently. I want you to think of setting fucking hard goals, setting painful goals, setting fun goals. That's why I want you to think about it. Think of hard and everything. I'm a, I'm a dummy. I'm a, a fucking jarhead. We need an acronym for everything in the Marine Corps. We need an acronym for our own damn names. So think of, of a hard goal. Hard. Hard. The H in hard is a habit. Then attack. Then risky. Then just do. Like fuck, try, do. That's the hard right there. Make your goals hard. Hard means they should be some hard habits that you're ri- they're riding every fucking day with discipline and consistency and energy. That's the H in hard. The A is to fucking attack it. Attack that motherfucker. Kill. That's why we use the term kill. It means attack. It means stop bullshitting. Stop procrastinating. Fucking attack those goals. Every fucking day, you're on the attack. Attack the hill. You see something hard in front of you, fucking attack it. That's a hard goal. That's the type of goals we're talking about. Then the goals should be risky. They should be bold. 
You should be standing out with them. That R is for risky. You should be taking risks. That's the type of goals you should be taking. Not some bullshit you know you're going to achieve. And then the D means fucking do it. Fuck try. Just do it. Get off your fucking ass. Stop talking about it and start putting the pieces into play. What's one step you could do today? It's going to get you one step closer to that ideal freak freedom lifestyle, which should be your ultimate goal. Getting better every day towards personal mastery should be your goal. That thing about having kids and being a leader and leading them should be your goal. So what can I do? The D in fucking hard. What can I do right now today to achieve those hard goals? And then goals itself. I even make an acronym for goals because I need an acronym for everything. Goals is just for growth, obsessed, accountability, life lasting, and fucking scary. That's the way your goal should be. They shouldn't be smart. Smart, they should just be attainable and measurable. No shit. But measurable as into what? Okay, I can track. Did I work out three times a week this week? Who gives a fuck? If you're not doing that forever or you don't have a real higher calling, meaning goal to that. So yeah, your goal should be growth-based. The purpose of the goal should be getting better every fucking day. You should then should be obsessed with those goals as long as you're still freakifying it and not forgetting the freakify aspect of diving deep into this fucking moment. Then there should be accountability, not just is it measurable. Okay, so if it's measurable, that makes it a fucking good goal because I could say I didn't do it. I could measure a failure. Who gives a fuck? Accountability. What's Who's going to hold you accountable? How are you going to hold yourself accountable? Or do you have a coach? Do you have someone that's going to fucking put a light of fire under your ass and push you and pressure you to do this shit? And then the L in goals should be is for life lasting. If a goal is not worth doing for a long amount of time, it's probably not worth doing at all. If it's not pushing you and pressure you and moving you towards self-mastery, it's probably not worth it at all. If it's not growth-based, probably not worth doing it all. Is it life lasting? Like my goals, I, my goals are for fucking life. I'm not looking for some half-ass short-term bullshit. And then the S in goals is scary. Yeah, it should be a little fucking scary. Yeah, moving out of New York and just jumping in a car and driving across the country with our family without a place to even live in California with no real business or job in California, just leaving everything behind New York. Yeah, it was motherfucking scary, but I knew what the personal freak freedom lifestyle was, and I knew that was one of the steps it was going to take to get there. And so, yeah, it was motherfucking scary. So, yeah, those goals were hard. Those goals were hard as in they were habit-based. I was, you're attacking them. They're risky. You're fucking doing, not just trying and talking. Then the goals are growth, obsessed, accountability, life-lasting, and fucking scary. This is the way to approach your goal setting. I even say your goal should be fun. Yes, me. I'm going to teach you about motherfucking fun. And the fun, the F-U-N on the goals, the fun goals... The fun is for fuck it. Fuck it. Go for it. Stop bullshitting. Stop worrying. Stop procrastinating. Find about finding 17 reasons why you can't fucking do something and find a fucking one reason why you can or should or deserve to. And then the you is unrealistic or unreasonable. Forget uh, attainable in those smart goals that everyone tells you about. Fuck attainable. I want unrealistic. That's fun to me. Unreasonable. That's fucking fun to me. And then the end is fun is no motherfucking limits. No limits. There's no limits to those goals. Those goals should have no limits. They shouldn't just be attainable and measurable and smart. Fuck that. That sounds like a boring, average, lame-ass motherfucker to me. That's what that sounds like. I want to have some fun goals. I want to have some hard goals. That's what I'm talking about. That's how you attain some shit that you always thought. That's how you take impossible and turn it into done. That's how you take what you previously thought was impossible and turn it into not just possible, but motherfucking done. That's how you do it, by following these steps we're talking about, following this mindset and this philosophy and these actual practical and tactical steps we're talking about. So let's wrap this all up where we started. The goal is the fucking journey. The goal is the challenge. The goal is the suffering and the growth, the constant and never-ending growth. Because guess what? I told you, the goal, if the goal is today, if the goal is the present moment, and you get asked about destiny, I get asked about destiny a lot. Guess what? Your destiny, your success is based on today, motherfucker. This fucking moment right now, your legacy is today. Write them down every day. Revisit them. Visualize them, meditate on them, and then get to motherfucking work right now in this moment. 
This moment is the fucking goal. This moment's your legacy. This moment is your fucking life. That's how you set some freak fucking goals. So if this helped you out, this is helping you think a little differently about goal setting. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below. I want to hear about your scary fucking goals. I want to be hear about your hard and your fun goals down below. Put them down in the comments. What are your crazy fucking goals you're setting? What are your unreasonable and scary and risky goals you're setting? Put them down in the comments below and share this with the people in your life that need to hear this fucking message. Because mo- most people will hate or some people will hate, but most can relate to this message. So comment, share, like, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the future episodes of the Steve Eckert Show. Go out, set some motherfucking goals, then forget your goals, dive into right fucking now, get to motherfucking work. We'll see you next time on the Steve Eckert Show. And in case no one told you yet today, you are fucking awesome. No excuses.